cold front headed this way is bringing with it a round of showers. Just when will they get here? And more importantly, will they ruin your Sunday forecast? I'll let you know that's coming up. First look at the forecast. Oh, Dick, we started out today with some sunshine, minimal sunshine. Clouds are increasing throughout the day. And we'll take a look at your radar and satellite. You will see a cold front. Coming up, we're going to take a look at tomorrow's forecast and let you know if those showers plan on sticking around. See you then. All right, Trace, thanks. We have some breaking news. Queens. Families are flocking to Far Rockaway, but they're doing more than shooting the breeze. Take a look. Some people put some thought into these things. Take a look. Over 20,000 people attended the event um, the same time last year. And that's kind of creepy looking, isn't it? <laughs> what was that? Okay, today's high temperature 82 degrees, average high of 82, really close to exactly what it should feel like for this time of the year. Records for today's date, record high of 94 degrees set in 2002, and a record low of 55 degrees set in 1924. Your sunrise, 611 this morning, and your sunset at 747 tonight. Cloudy conditions across the area currently, your temperature 76 degrees, humidity 74%, still rather muggy outside. Winds out of the south at 7 miles an hour, but a cold front coming in. It's going to change the humidity, but you got to pay for it in the exchange of showers. Here's a look at your radar again. Showers moving in to the lower Hudson Valley as well as northeast New Jersey. And again, those showers will be with us for this evening. As you take a larger view, they extend all the way back to the central Great Lakes. And that's what's going to be working its way through the area for tonight and also, unfortunately, throughout the day for tomorrow. Temperatures, most if not all places, looking at the 70s. We'll take a look at some of your neighborhood numbers. And again, for today's high temperatures, moving into Queens, 78 in Douglaston, 75 degrees right now in Forest Park and for tonight temperatures will also still be relatively average for this time of the year. 75 in Stephanie in Connecticut, 76 in Westport and 77 in Byram. As you take a look at large view of the nation again, 81 in Chicago, 82 in Kansas City, 101 in Dallas, 96 in San Antonio. Really hot conditions again down in the southeast and those hot conditions again will not be moving into our forecast and that's good. Please put my t-shirt back where I had it on the set. Thank you. National look at your clouds and radar again. Clouds and showers again will be moving back into the area and future cats does a really good job of doing that dick you're wrong for that here's looking at showers again future cats showing those showers moving out of the area and starting to move back towards the area again throughout the day for tomorrow and maybe even a thunderstorm again as that storm system again kind of lingers across the area moving out just in time for monday however you'll see sunny skies back into the forecast so for showers, your city temperature around 71 degrees and your five-day forecast again will show Leave your stuff there. I leave my stuff there, and you, and you almost took it. It's a T-shirt about an event that I did I earlier. I thought it was a today. freebie. You left it on your chair. Well, well it's so it cute. It's great. Now tell us about this. Yeah. This was a great event that you worked on today. Oh, wonderful. Three Doctors Foundation is something that Fox 5 partners with, and today they had a mentor mentee day, and over 100 kids came in, and basically corporate partners work with them, and they pair them up with someone who does exactly what this kid wants to do. So oh. it was a wonderful event. And she wanted to be a magazine publisher, and I helped her out the best I could. That's great. <laughs> Can we just hear that sound again of the dogs? What do they make? <laughs> I couldn't resist. All right. That's our final weather check. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Barking up the yeah, nice that, day. Wow. That's all for Fox News at 6. I'm Karen Hamm. And I'm Dick Brennan. We'll see you back here at 10. Up next, the 70 show. Stick around. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm here in Fox Sub Weather Authority. Tracy Humphrey here with the first look at the forecast. Tracy. Oh, Karen, you're right. Rain showers moved in this afternoon as well as this evening, and looks like they're going to be lingering around for a while. Take a look at your radar, and again, looking at some. Yeah, we'll take a look at tomorrow's forecast and let you know those rain showers will put a damper on your Sunday forecast. See you soon. All right, Trace, thank you. New technology to battle an age old problem at a summer music. Well, our temperatures have been very seasonable as of late, but down in the southeast, hot temperatures. Could they be moving this way? Could a warm-up be in your forecast? I'll let you know. That's coming up. And <laughs> Those are kind of weird looking. Okay, let's talk about your weather. At least that's not weird. Here's a live view of Times Square outside. We are seeing some light showers moving through the area currently, but we will recap what happened earlier today, and then we'll talk a little bit more about your forecast. Today's high temperature, 82. Average high of 82. Morning low of 69. Average low of 68. Pretty close to typical average daytime highs and lows for this time of the year. Records for today's date, record of 94 degrees set in 2002, and a record low of 55 degrees set in 1924. Your sunrise will be at 611 tomorrow morning. Morning and your sunset at 7:47 tonight.
Here's a look at what's currently glowing on at Central Park. Cloudy skies, your temperature at 74 degrees, humidity 85%. It is muggy outside. Winds filtering in out of the south at 8 miles an hour. We do have a cold front moving in, and once it passes, it will be a lot drier, but that cold front will be sparking showers as well as possible thunderstorms throughout the day for tomorrow. In the meantime, currently, radar is showing some showers moving in, and the yellow here is where you have the heavier rain showers moving through the Hudson Valley as well as southern Connecticut. That's going to be the story for the next couple of hours as you pull out and take a larger view and see the system extending all the way back to Erie, Pennsylvania. And again, this is a cold front moving through. Once that cold front starts to move towards our area, it will be late tomorrow. That could trigger a thunderstorm, but back behind that system will be high pressure and also drier air. So you'll start to see more sunshine filtering in for Monday, and it's also going to feel a whole lot better. Temperature 72 in Monticello, 70 in Poughkeepsie, 73 in Bridgeport, 74 in Islip, 76 currently at LaGuardia, 75 in Caldwell, 76 also in Newark. Take a look at some of your neighborhood numbers. And again, for today, very seasonable, and that will also be basically the story for tonight. Central New Jersey, 74 in Elizabeth, looking at 75 in Manville, and 76 degrees down in Spotswood. Again, for tonight, most places, again, it'll be about around 70 degrees. No big deal there. A lot of more clouds moving in, so not much in the way of radiational cooling overnight tonight. Western Long Island, 74 in Cold Spring Harbor, and 76 degrees currently in New Hyde Park. Here's a look again what's going off in the northeast down to the mid-Atlantic. Again, those temperatures, not a big deal. Future cast showing. Threat of showers again across the area for tonight, as well as throughout the day for tomorrow. And again, that threat of showers with and talk about next week. Looking pretty good. Make sure you stick around for it. Absolutely. All right. Well, you did something else that was uh, very good today. I did. We participated. Fox 5 partners together with the Three Doctors Foundation, and they basically had this mentor mentee day today. And guys, it was great. They had close to 100 kids come out, and they basically tell you what they want to be when they grow up. And they actually found corporate sponsors and people to come out and match up with them. And that's Dr. George Jenkins right there. I had about backpacks as well as these T-shirts. So it was a great cause, and we try to help them out the best we can. So uh, congratulations to them. Wonderful project today. Great job. Sounds yeah, like that a great. Was great job. Yeah. Thanks, Richard. Okay. So people in New Jersey aren't satisfied with just watching. And we're seeing some showers across the area, all compliments of a cold front. Well, that cold front basically ruined the rest of your weekend. I'll tell you. That's coming up. All the emails. Yes. And now, Tracy, she's got our five-day forecast, and it better be made of dreams. Uh oh, oh Not a dream. Uh oh, here we go. Me, man. Here we go. Well, it's not going to be that bad. First and foremost, getting through tonight, still looking at showers moving through Danbury, Connecticut, as well as Poughkeepsie. Some of those showers relatively heavy for this evening, as well as going into the overnight hours. If you forecast for tonight, mostly cloudy with showers. Your city temperature is basically in the lower 70s. Winds out of the south at 10 to 15 miles an hour. For tomorrow, showers likely throughout the day. Best chance of a thunderstorm will be in the afternoon as that cold front pushes through the area. Your city temperature in the mid-80s and winds out of the west. Pretty windy throughout the day at 10 to 15 miles an hour. And your five-day forecast showing. See you there, Kim. Weather. Right now, we'll throw things over to Reese for a look at your sports. Well, thank you, Trace. Comes back with a positive test. A world class sprinter would be facing a two year ban. Jones testified in the Balco investigation, and though she has been accused of doping, she has continually denied the charges. And of course, the New York Jets are playing the Washington Redskins tonight in a preseason game. They are currently leading 27 14 late in the fourth quarter. So we shall see, or you'll probably hear a little bit about what happened in that game as far as final tomorrow on Sports Extra with John Steppelow. Those Red Sox fans are hiding out. Oh my gosh. Put this away those baseball caps. Ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I don't see well, those Like I Red said Sox earlier, fans. I have to reverse my stance. I was saying this would come down to the end, but I don't see how the Red Sox recover from this five game series. And I'd be surprised if they, well, I won't say I'll be surprised right. if they pull one out. But I wouldn't be shocked if it's a five-game sweep. You hear that, Bill, and all your Red Sox five fans? Five games. That's oh, all right. That's all right. Sweep. Five-game sweep because the Yankees are on fire. Weather. Yes. yes. Well, for weather, still looking at some showers across the area for tonight, as well as throughout the day for tomorrow. For the rest of your work week, enjoy. Because you know what? I think summer's over. <laughs> what? I mean, it's not technically over, but I think it's over. Bye bye. Wow. It's a wrap. Just like the Socks. She became my least favorite weather person ever. That's all for tonight. I'm Karen Happy. And I'm Dick Brennan. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow at 6. <laughs> Mad TV is next. Have a good night. And we still love Tracy Humphrey. <laughs> <laughs>